And Shalom, first off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the Paleo Hebrew, all right, the ancient Hebrew, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, and peace and grace be upon the house of David, Dabayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right. I just wanted to get into a, a lesson, you know, real quick, Lord willing, it'd be edifying, you know, to the elect uh, Akim and the Akwath that are out there. Um, basically on the topic of uh, be ready against the third day. All right. Because I was reading the scriptures and uh, here in the Exodus, uh, the 19th chapter, it was uh, speaking about how when yeah, um, the heavenly father, uh, Bashim Yahushai, was um you know going to uh come come down upon Mount Sinai uh basically to you know uh um give Moses the commandments that he was uh going to give you know the 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 law that he was uh you know commanded to give the nation of Israel you know so that they could you know live live you know uh, uh righteous before the heavenly father and actually you know be prosperous okay and um before the Lord uh, actually came upon, you know, that uh, Mount Sinai, you know, in the chariot. He told uh, Moses to command the people to do, uh, you know, to sanctify themselves. You know, he gave them three days to sanctify themselves. OK, and if they weren't sanctified, you know, within those three days, then the Lord was going to destroy whomever, you know, uh, wasn't wasn't sanctified, who wasn't clean. You know, and uh, spiritually, I was, um, you know, just meditating on it. And, you know, even though that was a actual, you know, event that happened, you know, I'm, I was thinking about it on the spiritual level. That's the same thing, you know, that the Lord is doing um, right now. OK, he he has given us, you know, three days, you know, which we're going to get into the scriptures for, you know, Israel to sanctify themselves. And we know that the only ones who are going to be sanctified is the elect, you know, through the blood and the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. OK, but. Um, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get into the scriptures, you know, and I uh, just, you know, expound on that. This is a uh, Exodus chapter 19, verse nine. It says, and Yahweh said unto Moses, lo, I will come unto thee in a thick cloud that, that, that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words unto the people of, so like in the word, and Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. And Yahweh said unto Moses, go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes. Now, you know, the clothes, as the scripture says, um, I get that real quick. I believe that's Revelation, the uh, 14th chapter. Um, it might be the 15th chapter. Just bear with me one second. Tells you about, um, you know, blessed is he that keepeth his garments. God, uh, Revelation 16 and 15 says, Behold, I come as a thief in the night. So, like, behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk, lest he walk naked and see, and they see his shame. You know, so, you know, the garments, you know, on the spiritual, uh, on the spiritual uh, aspect you know, represents this uh, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, okay? It represents, you know, being covered in 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 this knowledge that is, is going to cover us, you know, make us able to be, uh, uh, you know, covered during the, uh, the, the, the times that are coming, okay? Jacob's trouble, hour of temptation, you know, having this knowledge is the way that we're going to be uh, protected in that time. As it is written in Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, the sixth verse, wisdom and knowledge and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. OK, so, you know, we got to. Uh, oh, also, it tells you that in Revelation. Um, let me get that too. Revelation. I believe that's the seventh chapter. Bear with me one second. Um, it's a revelation. It's, uh on this revelation chapter seven verse i'll uh, start at nine it says and behold and this i beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne 
and before the lamb clothed in white robes with palms in their hands and crying cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our power which sitteth upon the throne and unto his lamb all right and this is talking about the elect you know throughout the four corners of the earth okay Th this is talking about the uh, uh this is what i really want in verse 14 all right but you know just for you know side bit that's talking about the elect you know that is scattered throughout all nations as it was uh you know written it was it was written that a part of the curses was going to be Israel was going to be scattered throughout all nations of people, but the Lord was going to redeem and elect throughout those nations. Okay. But here's the point right here, Revelation 7 and 14. And I said unto him, sir, thou knowest, actually, I'm gonna start at verse 13. And it says, and one of the elders answered and saying unto me, what are these which are arrayed in white robes and whence they came? And I said unto him, sir, thou knowest, all right, this is uh, John a Revelator speaking to the angel. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Okay, which is who? Yahweh Shai. All right. So the the, the, the robes being made, uh, you know, being uh, washed is talking about basically, you know, uh, us getting, you know, uh, being made righteous, being made you know, pure. OK, being made uh, cleaned through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. OK, him being a propitiation, which means the thing appeased. OK, those are the ones who are who are sanctified from the foundation of earth, predestined from the foundation of earth. The elect that are that are going to be, uh, you know, delivered, you know, from the uh, coming destruction. OK, and the ones who die before the destruction, as the scripture uh, says, the dead in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach shall rise first. So those are the ones who what have washed their robes and made them white in the in the blood of the lamb, white meaning pure, meaning, uh, you know, cleaned. OK, so you go back to uh, Exodus 19 verse uh, nine. Um, so like verse 10, it says in Yahweh said unto Moses, go into the people and sanctify, OK, cleanse them, you know, make them pure them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes okay so you see the correlation there once again you know this actually was a, a actual event that happened but you know when i was reading it you know i was thinking about it on the spiritual aspect of it man okay the lord yahweh shai you know he came on the scene over two thousand years ago okay so over two days ago he came on the scene all right and him dying was the beginning you know, him him being a sacrifice was the uh the the moment that the elect were made cleansed through his blood. Okay? That's why when he was on the cross, he said what? Before he died, it is finished. Meaning what? It is finished the the thing necessary to, you know, the the unblemished lamb, okay, that takes away the uh the sins of Israel, okay, which was Yahweh Shai. That's what John said when he saw him. Behold, the Lamb of God who taketh the sins away of the world, the world being Israel. The Lord made Israel, uh, the elect, okay, cleanse, cleaned with, with his sacrifice. So right here, so that was two days ago, okay? Or, you know, 2,000 years ago, as the scripture says, a day with the Lord is a 1,000 years and a 1,000 years is one day. All right, so going on, verse 11, getting to the point, and be ready against the third day. For the third day, Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai will come down in the sight of all people upon Mount Sinai. All right. And that's the time that we're coming into. Once again, looking at it on the spiritual level, man. Yahweh, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, okay. Yahweh Shai is going to come, you know, as, as uh, the salvation sent by Yahweh, man. Okay. And he's going to come in the third day. All right. And whoever isn't cleansed, whoever isn't, uh, you know, made pure. Is going to is going to do what? They're going to die, man. Okay, they're going to die, and that's and that's why it says right here. You know, be ready against the third day. We the the the, the men who are diligently seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the men who are diligently, you know, uh, uh, giving them the, giving this their all. Okay, being hot, being fervent in business, those are the ones who are being ready against the third day. But the ones who are who 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 think the Lord is. Uh, you know, delaying his coming, the ones who is not taking this thing serious, they're not going to be ready against the third day. And that's why, you know, who whoever is not ready against the third day, they're going to surely be put to death. 
Okay. And, you know, get into this, uh, you know, again, a precept real quick, just to prove that the third day is, is the day that we're going to be redeemed, which we're in the third day right now. Like I said before, Yahweh Shai came over two, 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 uh, over 2000 years ago. All right. And it tells you that in first, second Peter, the third chapter that a day with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. So we're in the third day right now. All right. Hosea chapter six, verse uh, one says, come and let us return unto Yahweh, for he has torn. He will heal, heal us. He has smitten. He will bind us up after two days. He will revive us. And in the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. OK. So at the two days, these two days, as Moses did, you know, these two days since the time Yahweh Shai was on this, uh, you know, uh, made that sacrifice, you know, until now. OK, that was the time that we were, you know, basically in preparation for what? For the end, because it's always it always been about the end, man. It's always been about you know, when, when the prophets, when the ancient prophets or the disciples, they always inquired about the parting asunder of times, the, 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 the end of this world and the beginning of it that followeth. So it's always been about the elect. It's always been searching for the end. OK, this the, this third day, which is the day that we're living in right now. OK. And why? Because in this third day, he will raise us up. OK, he will he will, you know, complete the process that he started, you know, two days uh, prior. All right. Which Yahweh Shai was the one that started that process. Um, let me get that too. All right. Because when Yahweh Shai spoke about, um, uh, one second, let me just pull this up. When Yahweh Shai talked, spoke about, you know, he will, uh, build the temple in three days. Okay. He would raise the temple in three days. He was talking about, it was, you know, it was twofold, man. He was talking about himself and he was talking about the, the actual elect because we are the temple uh, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Um, so bear with me one second. The con, uh, St. John, St. John chapter uh, 2, verse 18. It says, then answered the Jews and said unto him, what sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, destroy this temple in three days and I will raise it up. OK, then the Jews then said the Jews, 40 and six years, this uh, was this temple in building and thou will rear it up in three days. But he spake of the temple of his body. OK. Now, once again, Yahweh Shai, this is twofold because Yahweh Shai was speaking about him, act, his actual body, because as we know that uh, uh, he got put to death and then after three days, he was uh, he was risen. OK, the, the heavenly father put the spirit back in him to to uh, um, to arise. But this three days is also significant to who the temple of Yahweh Shai. OK, which is the elect. OK, as the scripture says that we are uh, we are the body of Yahweh Shai. OK, and the Howard Shai spoke about what that he was going to raise us up. OK, your heavenly father has risen us up in these last days through who? Through Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's why even when Yahweh Shai spoke this, you know, the spiritual aspect, you know, it gets deeper when he when he speaks about the uh, the temple being raised up in three days. Because when you go into St. John, um, you go to St. John, chapter six. All right, around the 37th verse, probably a little bit down. Uh, St. John chapter 6, verse 44, it says, No man can come unto me except the Father which have sent me draw him, and I will raise him up in the last day. Now, what is the last day? The last day is the third day, okay? The third day, which is the day that we're in right now, which is the day that the Lord hit. <laughs> raised up Israel. And that's why you're seeing Israelites, okay, remember themselves in the land of their captivity. Okay. You're seeing so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that were, you know, spiritually dead. Okay. But these dry bones in these last days are 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 coming to life, man. Okay. Through what? Through the, the sanctification of the blood of Yahweh Shai. All right. 
So this is why this is happening, man. This, this is why this phenomena of, uh, of, of, you know, what this world looks as, as niggas and spicks actually remembering themselves and, and putting back on that, that, uh, garment, man. Okay. Clean, cleaning that garment and putting back on, you know, the, the, the righteousness of who they are, man. They're uh, surnaming themselves Israel. Okay. Because this was prophecy, which must needs be fulfilled, which is what is happening. Okay, and nothing, nobody can stop this from happening, man. The elect was predestined from the foundation to be risen up in the last day, to be risen up in the third day, which is, okay, the day that we're in right now, okay? 2,000 years ago, two days ago, the Lord, okay, came over to two years ago, two days ago, the Lord, uh, uh, you know, put himself on that cross to, 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 to sanctify us. And now we're in the time of that sanctification, you know, coming into, uh, 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 manifest manifestation. Okay. And the Lord spoke it, man. And the last day I will raise him up. Okay. And just to get another, you know, precept is to prove that we are the temple of the most high. Okay. Uh, first Corinthians chapter three, verse 16. It says, know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of the most high, him shall the most high destroy for the temple of the most high is holy, which temple ye are. So right there, man, makes it plain and evident, man, that we are the temple of the most high, man. We are the temple of the most high through the body of Yahweh Shai. Okay. And that's, and that's, why, you know, like I was, you know, once again, bringing the correlation, summarizing it up. That's why we're supposed to be prepared against the third day, because the third day is the day that the Lord is going to redeem his elect. And the ones who are not holy, pure, the ones who are not sanctified, they're going to be destroyed. OK, the ones who 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 didn't take the time. All right. You know, uh, uh, spiritually prepare themselves. For the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Because guess what? Yahweh Shai is coming in clouds, man. Hey, just like in Acts the 19th chapter, he uh, the Lord came down in a thick cloud. Well, the heavenly the Yahweh Shai is coming in a thick cloud, man. When you read about that in Second Ezra, it's the 13th chapter. It talks about the cloud that looked like a, a great mountain. Okay. And he's coming with fire too. All right. Isaiah 66 and uh, 15. He coming with, you know, he's coming with a uh, 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 flames of fire, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many. So if you're not prepared against the third day, which we're in that time right now, if you're not preparing yourself spiritually, you know, getting your spiritual garments cleansed, then when the Lord returns, man, he's going to destroy you. You're going to be, you're, you're going to die, man, straight up and down. All right. So this is the time to prepare ourselves for this, for this day, man, because we're in this day. All right. That's why the Lord said measure the times diligently within themselves, man. All right. But, you know, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to end that right there. Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, Lord willing, uh, our brothers was able to uh, understand the spiritual aspect uh, of of the scriptures, you know, that I uh, brung out, man. You know, being prepared against the third day. OK, before the I'm going to read uh, verse 11 again and be prepared and be ready against the third day for the third day. Yahweh will come down in the sight of all people upon Mount Sinai. Hey, and the scripture tells you that man in Isaiah, that the all nations are going to see the salvation of the Lord, man. All right. All nations are going to see it. And, and you Israelites that are not prepared, man, you're going to, you, hey, you're going to suffer the fate, man. You're going to die to death. Okay. The second death. Okay. But, but, but to the elect, all right, the ones who who are who are preparing themselves against this day, hey, our salvation is nigh, man. All right, so you know with that, shalom.